she became a uh, grandparent. <laughs> she, she doesn't know she's got two grandchildren and a boy and a girl. And um, one will be two pretty soon. Or three, I'm sorry. Three years old. I have 13 grandchildren, so it's hard to keep up with the, the new ones. But um, but she's, she's a family person, and um, I just want her home. She's... This is, this is out of character for Amanda. Um, she's never gone hardly any time without a phone call, without um, communication of some sort with her family. So, um, But I love her. Love you, Amanda. I hope you'll come home soon and meet the new additions to the family. Shannon? Amanda was very cheerful. She loved life. She loved her family. Um, she loved her kids. She, we had a very good relationship. Um, she loved art. She's very artistic and music. She loved to sing. She loved karaoke and she definitely was a great singer. Um, she gets that from my dad. But um, she had a voice that was just so beautiful. And when she'd sing, it was just like, you were just like in awe. But um, she was very friendly. She was, she loved animals. She had a, a really beautiful dog named Baby Dean. Um, uh, there's so much that I could tell you about Amanda. I mean, so much. But I think the main thing is, I know she would not stay this long away from her family. Because I know she's a very loving person with, with her family. If you see her pictures, there's not one picture that she wasn't smiling in when, it, when we took it. Like, you know, she was playful, she was, and she was always there, no matter what. Um, you had a problem, bad day, she was there, and, and vice versa. You know, she always looked for us if she had a bad day, and, and um, we would make her smile, you know, or try to help her as much as possible. That's why I just know, I just know she would not... She would not leave her family. She would not. This is not her character. She was my sister. They feel like they took her away from me. It's so horrible when you don't have answers. I only want her to come home. And I do. Amanda, if you can hear me. I love you. And I know you would want to come home. And I hope. I have faith that you will come home. We're waiting for you. Your boys are waiting for you. She has four boys. And this is the oldest one. We have a new nephew, too. Yep. <laughs> Jackson. So. Yep. I'm sorry. <coughs> Margo? Uh, let's see. Me and my mom had a very special relationship. She wasn't just a mother to me. She was more of a, a best friend of sorts. Uh, I could come to her with pretty much whatever troubles I was having as a teenager. Um, she was just a very fun time to be around, very free spirit. Um, it's kind of hard because uh, I haven't really, a lot of the time that I spent with her, we were just hanging out, singing, you know, in the car, 
having fun, um, and uh, losing a best friend slash losing my mom is not something that is easy to talk about, of course. Uh, it, it just hurts, you know. I wish something would have been done sooner, but I'm grateful for what we got going on right now. Um, I appreciate all of you guys coming through. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Um, I just want my mom home. Honestly, uh, she really was my best friend, you know? It sucks. She's it's, a big part of this family. Yeah, she... I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, I, I just wish she'd come home. I just want to see her, hang out with her, have fun again like we used to. It's been five and a half years now. I've, I've grown up. I, last time I saw her, I was still in high school. I'm 24 now. I have two kids of my own. You know, she, she doesn't even know that. It's, it's difficult. It really is. Amanda, I, I just hope and pray. A lot of prayers are being said that you'll come home. A lot of support, too. Yes. And that's definitely We're a waiting. <laughs> We're waiting for you. 